Hey, I'm Cassie from careerswithstem.com and here we are at Australian Manufacturing Week checking out all the coolest new emerging tech and chatting to the companies behind them. There are so many cool jobs in manufacturing, so we'll also grab some career inspiration while we're at it. Let's get chatting. Well, the technology that Craft Tech is displaying here today is robotic automation. Craft Tech is predominantly into robotic automation for welding, cutting, and material handling. I did uh, engineering studies in high school, coding, and engineering at university um, and then I went on to doing postgraduate work. And if you have an interest in mechanics or electronics or, or coding, um, maths, physics, yeah you just follow your passion through, get some education at university in science, uh, technology, engineering. You pick up a robot and you start coding and you start understanding and there are lots of jobs in Australia. It's a really exciting and growth sector in Australia. So we're here today for our advanced manufacturing department. So we do a lot of additive manufacturing, subtractive manufacturing, things like powder bed manufacturing. We design aerospace components and then we can print the housings, the inlets out of, you know, ink canal, stainless steel, and then machine it after all in-house. You can be a machinist, you can be a material scientist and develop various materials and alloys and then print it. So then you can create materials with different properties. Um, you can be a design engineer. Definitely you can do machining courses at TAFE. You can also do like be a manufacturing engineer. We take a lot of aerospace engineers for the aerospace design and everything. Personally, I'm a mechatronics engineer, so it really doesn't matter what field you're in as long as like you're doing engineering, you're interested in this sort of stuff, you reach out to people who are in this field and then, yeah. Yeah, not too hard. You know, you're, you don't really have the bounds that people used to have in terms of manufacturing their designs. You can sort of create anything and then you can print it. On this stand, we have a range of samples of technologies and we specialise in 3D printing of engineering polymers. So these polymers get used in drones, for surveillance and defence work. I suppose the, the beauty of 3D printing is it covers a very broad range of industries. So if you're passionate about a particular industry, there's a fair chance that 3D printing is going to be playing a pretty significant role in that industry. We can't employ people quick enough. What a lot of companies are starting to do is set up basically industry apprenticeships where students can come through and work at, at facilities part-time and learn about the technology, learn about how to run the machines and process the machines while they're completing um, a degree course. So we've got the augmented welding simulator. So it's like gamifying welding for students and um, the technology has been implemented into a lot of schools. There's actually teacher software that comes with the machine so it's really great for the teachers um, in that they can program in a number of welding procedures um, they, can, they can view back the, the student's world and they can go at all different um, levels as well. The world is their oyster when it comes to welding because we are really, really needing a lot of students to come into the industry. I mean, it's not just becoming a welder. There are so many levels uh, within the industry. They can become a welding coordinator. Um, a welding supervisor or even an international welding engineer. So um, they would go to TAFE for the TAFE qualification and then they'd come to us, World Australia, for all the higher levels of qualification. I think the most exciting thing about today was definitely the lots of hands-on stuff, you know, like the 3D welding that they have here on offer and it's been a very good day so far. I'm Peter Hope, uh, I own Romheld Automation, which is a company specialising in work holding and clamping tooling and automation end of arm tooling for robots. Most of what we do is to do with automation for volume production, so if you're making thousands of widgets, you'd need some of our tooling. We've got a wide range of equipment. We have three machines, one is dedicated to the kitchen industry, so it's used for manufacturing kitchen carcasses. The machine we see here is a knife and routing machine, so it's used to cut anything that the kitchen machine can run, but it also has knife capabilities to do soft, flexible media like fabrics, foams, eco panel and acoustic material. TAFE is a good place to start. There's a lot of um, TAFEs that run like the software training program. 
wow, there is so much more to Australian manufacturing than we originally thought. The opportunities are booming. If you want more information on the careers of the future, head to careersofstem.com.